Hello? Okay, I'm coming. You are watching Jancy's Corner. So guys, this is the XTU J7C battery powered doorbell camera. Let's open it up. So it has a sticker, two stickers that you can stick on your window or door. Uh, just to let people know that you know you have a 24-hour monitoring uh, Thank you card and here is the doorbell itself so we got the case here and This is the doorbell with the camera And we got also the charger wire And what else? So this is for the installation. Okay. And of course the user manual. Okay. So now let's uh, know more about this doorbell. We just need to remove the protective uh, film and know the parts of it. Okay. So this thing here is the camera yeah and this part here is the PR motion sensor so it's a sensor if in case someone is moving they can sense it the small hole here I don't know if you can see it yeah that's the microphone and of course we got the button for the doorbell and on the side there will be a LED light indicator okay on the side you will see a speaker these two lines with the dots and inside of this are the memory card slot this one and also the reset button we got a reset button here this one and the on and off button okay so this is a waterproof so water is hopefully cannot go inside in there so here on the side we got the charging indicator that you can see here on the side there's a hole there and also the micro USB port uh, for battery charging so down below here is the security screw uh, once we attach the base on the door or position it where we're supposed to put it uh, it's time for us to mount the camera and screw it uh, so that it will not fall and for security purpose as well and take note that this camera has a built-in uh, Lion battery uh, inside so all you need to do is recharge it on the back, we got a tamper alarm trigger. So once you secure it in the base, it will push down and then it will lock. And then once someone uh, will go in to remove it, it will pull over and then it will alarm. So you will know that someone is getting this uh, alarm in your door. So in order to maximize the use of this doorbell, you have to charge it for at least 8 to 10 hours. And then you will see a red when it is charging. And when it's fully charged, uh, you will see a steady blue light or a solid blue light. Okay. So to charge it, you have to open this uh, side, okay, and connect the end part of your charger wire, okay. And this part, 
should be attached to the uh, charger and build it, uh, put it into the or plug it in into the socket. So the model of this uh, video doorbell is the Bell J7C uh, with the battery of 3.7 volts uh, with 18.5 I'm not sure whether how you say this watts which is rechargeable and the input is DC 5 volts equals to 1 amp okay and it's made of China and it has passed all this test okay and you should not throw it in the bin because it has a battery inside so next is we need to download uh, the apps in our mobile phone so you can see there is a uh, QR code here that you can scan so if you have a Android you can scan the Andrew uh, the Android version so go to your camera and then put the camera in the QR code and you will see this uh, prompt once it can read it and then you can go to the cloud edge so click install I'm not sure whether I have enough storage but I will try we'll wait and see okay so hopefully I have enough storage okay so let's set this, this aside once you have downloaded it you can open up it so and try and see what it is um, but at the moment our camera is off so uh, glad to meet you account so you need to sign up okay so email you enter your email okay so I enter press next uh, you have to agree first the agreement next and then put your nickname and the password so I have put my password click done so for the meantime okay, we're going to follow the the manual so we need to switch on now the power button we need to open this here okay and if you can see here there is an on and off button so it is an off so we need to turn this on okay and then you can see that the red light indicator is on so it will flash uh, once per second so start setting up we're gonna start setting up our doorbell following the in-app instructions okay so do this one here now we're gonna follow the apps we're gonna add a device okay and battery camera smart doorbell so you have to choose which one you have so we got a smart doorbell which is this one so you can see the image it looks the same press please follow the instruction manual to power on the device okay please place the camera and phone close to your router for the best signal okay so next press the bell button and tap next press the bell button so we need to press the bell button press next in order to obtain the current connect uh, Wi-Fi information you need to give positioning permission okay so while using this app please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds wait for the indicator light to flash red mm -hmm. so using a pin we got pin here we have a pin here 
Anyway, the reset button is here. I'm just gonna use the uh, like a little pickle screwdriver. Okay, so here is the reset button. So you have to press it for five seconds, as far as I know. Okay. Wait a little bit indicator to flash red. Top next. Select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. Okay, we need to enter the password. Um, okay, so I did that. Please confirm whether your Wi-Fi account and password are correct. Yes. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep your phone 5 to 8 inches from the lens. Okay. So you need... So I heard a tone, so Connecting. click next. Please wait a... So, connection <laughs> is successful. Next. And you notice uh, the red uh, color turn to blue now. The product shall prevail in kind. Install to the door at the appropriate height. Going to our door now. I'm just going to close this and click next. So avoid facing the road or crowded places. And then next, avoid direct the camera lens to the sun. Okay. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put this now to the door. Okay. Now let's put the camera in the phone at the place of installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. A few moments later. So the Wi-Fi camera installation is weak. So it's not fit for camera installation. In order to solve the problem, I have uh, put the Wi-Fi extender on the area near to the door so that the signal will be strong. Then I have to delete the device from the apps uh, by going to the setting and then on the very end you will see a delete device. Just press until it will prompt you that the device is deleted. Then you have to start again from the beginning by adding the device in the apps. Follow the instructions until you reach this point. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. Okay. So I'll just put it here. So click next. Okay, so there is a strong. Okay, so current place is good. You can ins install the camera. Click next. So we need to select the room, which is the door. And you choose the family. And then done. Okay, 
So they're all connected now. So let's put it to the test. Hello? Okay, I'm coming. So far the signal was good and the connection is great and I'm happy about this device. So uh, if you like this video guys, please don't forget to subscribe in your YouTube channel for more awesome video tutorial and tips. And also you can visit us at www.jnccorner.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!